everyone and welcome back to the Heart Kids charity car project that I'm doing. Now I've got another very simple car for you today, a quick um, but very effective and, and fun too. So yeah, if you are a receiver of one of these cards and want to get in touch, please do so. Um, I will link down the bottom uh, what this project's about, my social media accounts and also the products that I am using so um, but yeah if you've got any other questions or anything like that please do pop them down below um, yeah or get in touch um, on one of my social media venues right let's get started so I've already pre-cut my um, card so this is um, 210 millimeters by 148 millimeters and just fold it in half and scored and then I've got um, some fun foam some already self-adhesive fun foam and this is already pre-cut into this size but I will be um, cutting these two down so super simple take your backing And peel it off so just do it halfway if I can get it off and I'm super excited my voice is coming back yay All right. sorry if my head's in the way I'm just going to line that up with the top and the side of the foam and then I don't have my bone folder here, I don't know where it is. Um, I just use that to flatten it out and then I will do the other half. So just do it like that. Cool, and that's that done. So now I am just going to trim it around the edges and I will do it this way. So just I'm using um I'm actually using some all-purpose scissors, so these can be used for fabric, metal, um, not metal, sorry, fabric, um, paper, and they're actually meant to be good for non-sticking, but they're not that good. I actually want to get some of the Tim Holtz non-stick scissors, because um, I have here that they're actually absolutely fantastic to use. So... Okay, and then trim that off. Right, so a lot of my stuff I just eyeball it. So now I'm just putting this on the card and I see that it's a bit too big for that end. So if I'm going to meet it, but if I actually stick it on, square on, there's only this little bit here that I need to cut off so I'm just going to leave it that size and pop my glue on so I've run out of scotch tacky glue so I'm using a glue stick today um, but yeah I would normally use that so with being sick every and everything going how it's going my priorities have been a little bit on me and my daughter so that's why I've got that okay so I pop that on there and I would with the this glue I would actually um, pop it under something flat and firm to let it dry for a while um, so so that it goes flat as well Right, I'll just trim that down there because it's just a little bit not done very well. And then I'm no one will ever know, but I'm just going to trim the actual guard base down just to make it fit. So you can do that. Cool. So um, yeah, or you could have trimmed this down so I had a little bit of a 
of water around it. So that's that part done. Now what I'm going to do is put some of this ultra thick embossing powder, clear embossing powder on this card just to give it a little bit of pop and some more interest. So you see how simple this is at the moment. This is actually cut from a Christmas 12 by 12 pad. The paper is actually quite thin. So it's like, like that. Um, and I've just put it over there. It's like, I guess, like wrapping paper thickness. Um, but I thought it was a really fun print and it would be cool as a Christmas card. So just to give it a bit of a more interest. Um, I can't find my embossing pen, but normally I would use an embossing pen, but I can't find it. And I actually tried using this and it works, so I'm going to do it again. Rather than waste hours trying to find, find stuff. <laughs> yes, everything is just everywhere at the moment. So this is a um, two-way glue pen. So it's blue. Um, when it's wet and then when it dries it goes clear so I'm just using it as a sort of adhesive just to collect the embossing powder now the good thing about using this I've, I've figured is that I can um, do all these circles and not have to worry about it trying too quickly to pick up the um, embossing powder but the other thing is um, it doesn't give the best coverage so but it still works and does what I want the effectively to do so that's quite cool okay so I'll pop my paper underneath to catch the excess and I'm just going to use the embossing powder all over this um, I know I only need a tiny bit for those dots, but I want to make sure it's covered on the pot flue. Right, and the excess, so we just pull that off. And then Oops. Pull that back in the jar. Right. A little bit more there. Oh, now I think I just, yeah, I did. I wiped off a bit of the um, the embossing powder when I was doing that. Here we go. Right, so now I'm going to heat up my um, embossing tool and sorry if it's loud.
Alright, so I'll do close-up photos of these at the e of this at the end, so you can see what it looks like. I don't know if you can see, so it's just highlighted those circles and made them clear, and uh, made the colours a bit more vibrant, and it's just given that some just some texture and interest on that card. So that's pretty cute. So I'm just going to do five of these for this week's um, video. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some shimmer, shimmer spritz just to um, give it a bit more sparkle and interest just to make a pretty little card. So give it a good old shake and just spray it from above. Cool. And that's just give us, going to give us a sparkly car with some dimension and interest. So yeah, as I said, I'll put some um, close-ups of that at the end. So make sure you stay and watch those. And thanks again for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.